All right, everybody, here's the next uh, part in which we're going to play Jeopardy on the Super Nintendo. And we picked up Daniel Monahan during the commercial break. Here we go, Jeopardy round. Let's play. And here are six categories. Weather, soul food, three syllable words, religious music, ailments, and finally, USA. Could I run the entire Jeopardy round? Possibly. Let's find out. Weather for 100. What was that category, yeah, what was that category about music? Of a higher low pressure system, the one you'd prefer if you wanted to get a tan at the beach. Um, it was religious music, uh, Garrison. High. What is high? Kind of like gospel. Yeah, exactly. Weather 200. Yeah, in 1990, names for these in the Atlantic included Arthur, Bertha, and Klaus. What are hurricanes? I'll take weather for 300. The answer is... Planes often climb to the stratosphere to avoid these icy high-speed winds. What are jet streams? Weather for 400. The answer is... Meteorology comes from this philosopher's book of weather observations. Who was Aristotle? Uh-huh. Weather for 500. The answer is... A uniformly gray rain cloud extending over the entire sky, named from Latin for cloud. What is uh, Nimbus? Well done in that category. Soul food for 100. The answer is... Mammy's little baby loves it. What is shortening bread? Soul food for 200. The answer is... Also called groundnuts or goobers. What are peanuts? Soul food for 300. The answer is... A fried fritter named for the hungry dog at Hushed. What is a hush puppy? Hush puppies, yep. Soul food for 400. The answer is... How many and grits are both made of this grain? What is corn? Soul food for 500. The answer is... Southern pancake grain or a little rascal. What is buckwheat? That's going to be two full categories I have knocked in the head. <laughs> right. Now let's go to the next one. Three syllable words, 100. The answer is... Alaskan city that lost a bid for the 1994 Winter Olympics. What is Anchorage? Could I have three syllable words for 200? The answer is... The two colors in a rainbow that have three syllables are indigo and this one. What is violet? Three syllable words for 300. The answer is... Wool wax is another name for the sheep grease. Oh, Rob, you locked me out. And he got it, lanolin. Darn it. Oh, well. That's okay. Let's keep it going. USA for 100. The answer is... On New Year's Eve, there's a fireworks display on this well-known Colorado mountain. What is Pike's Peak? I'll have USA for 200. 
The answer is... Four days after arriving in the Salt Lake Valley, he marked the site for Salt Lake City's Temple Square. Who was, uh, Brigham Young? Yep, USA for 300. The answer is... Indians knew of this natural passage into Kentucky long before Thomas, Dr. Thomas Walker found it in 1750. What is the... What is the Northwest Passage? Gotta be it. No, it wasn't the Northwest Passage. Oh well. Oh! Let's see if Rob knows this any better than I do. Cumberland Gap. That was my second guess, but it just now dawned on me. But that is okay. We continue. Three syllable words for 400. The answer is... To pound, grush, or grind into a powder. What is pulverize? Three syllable words, 500. The answer is... The first three syllable word in the Star Spangled Banner. What is perilous? Well done in that category. USA for 400. The answer is... The tallest pueblos in the southwest, five stories high, were built near this northern New Mexico city. Rob. Taos. Oh yeah, Taos, New Mexico. Rob is $1,000 right now, and we continue. USA for 500. The answer is... Mountains of this neighboring state can be seen on a clear day from Boston's Hancock Tower. What is Connecticut? No, it's not Connecticut. <clears throat> Rob. New Hampshire. Oh, yeah. New Hampshire. So Rob goes up to 1,500. We have two categories left. One of them has the daily double. Ailments for 100. The answer is... Severe one-sided headache usually alleviated in women during pregnancy. What is a migraine? Ailments for two. Where are your manners? These connecting cushions between vertebrae can sometimes slip. Oh, what me? Because you picked it! Don't! Ailments 300. The answer is... It's thought that after humans gave up eating grass, this organ atrophied and became a troublemaker. What is the appendix? Ailments for 400. The answer is... Disease carried by wood ticks and named for the mountain range where it was first spotted. What is Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever? Ailments for 500. The answer is... Illness characterized by swelling parotid glands and protruding ear lubes. What is the mumps? So we know the daily doubles in the religious music category. Is it in the $100 clue? The answer no, is... No, it's not. A synagogue official who sings liturgical music played in the jazz singer, not by Eddie, but Al. What is a cantor? 200. The answer is... Famous traditional American hymn, or what some call Miss Jones of A View to a Kill. What is Amazing Grace? Three hundred. The answer is... 
In Latin, this famous church piece is called Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus. What is holy, holy, holy? And right now I have a 50-50 shot of finding the daily double. Four hundred. There it is! I'll bet it all. He sang Let's Stay Together, but left soul singing for gospel preaching. Who is Al Green? He's the one! 11,600, now the last clue. Yay! General name for music played during the passing around of the money plate. What is offertory? And that'll put me at $12,100. So I have $12,100, Rob $1,500, Sue, we have yet to hear from. So she'll go first in double jeopardy. Six categories, they are inventions, potpourri, world geography, fictional detectives, sport of kings, and finally, ballet. All six categories are loaded up, and we'll start with Sue, because she has yet to begin. Fictional detectives, 200. The answer is... The Hawaiian sleuth of Chinese heritage with 11 children. Oh, Sue locked me out. Charlie Chan. Yep. Buzzer Boomer Foo. Buzzer. Ow! Nice try. Win. Sport of Kings 200. The answer is. Nickname the shoe. He holds the record for single season wins. Who's Willie Shoemaker? Board of Kings for 400. The answer is... Type of betting whose name is from the French for mutual stake. What is... Pairing mutual? I didn't spell it right. Ah, that's all right. Rob. Oh, he doesn't know. You miserably. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, well, Sue missed it too. <laughs> so Sue goes into the hole. The right answer. Oh, Paramutuel. Okay, so I did spell it wrong. Alright, um, Sporting King 600. The answer is... The oldest race in the Triple Crown. What is the Belmont Stakes? Sporting Kings for 800. The answer is... A three-fourths mile race is this long in furlongs. What is six? And Sport of Kings for a thousand. The answer is... In 1919 to 20, this four-legged battleship won 20 of 21 stars. Who was a uh, man of war? Good for a thousand. Fictional detectives for 400. The answer is... The wife of this Peter Falk character got her own TV series. Who is Columbo? Fictional detectives for 600. The answer is... Joe Leaphorn and Jim Chi patrol the Indian lands of the Four Corners area in his mysteries. Sue. Tony Hillerman. Correct. So she's out of the hole and has got money once again. Go on, Sue. Go again. Potpourri 200. The answer is... 
According to John Keats, beauty is this, and this is beauty. What is uh, truth? Pulpery for 400. Where are your manners? Oh, what me? It's declared when you're judged insolvent. What is bankruptcy? Popery for 600. The answer is. In 1944, this Caribbean ruler appeared as an extra in Esther Williams' film Bathing Beauty. Who is Fidel Castro? Three for 800. Daily double. I'll bet it all. Yay. This round eye comic starred in Banjo Eyes, which uh, happened to be his nickname. Who's Eddie Cantor? He's the one. Hope for 1,000. The odds are 35 to 1 of throwing a 2 or this other number in a single toss of the dice. What's 12? All right. Fictional detectives for 800. The answer is... His first client was General Sternwood in The Big Sleep. Oh. Sue locked me out. Oh, Philip Marlowe. Okay, that wasn't really my guess, so I'm glad I didn't get in. But still, right now I have over $32,000, so that is awesome. Fictional detectives, 1,000. The answer is... Belgian who found evil under the sun and death on the Nile... Who is Hercule Poirot? Alrighty. Let me have inventions for 200. The answer is... Marconi's wonderful wireless. What is the... To the radio or the telegraph? I'll say what is the radio. There we go. Uh, inventions for 400. The answer is... In 1869, an American minister created this oriental transport. What is the... What is the Orient Express? No, not the Orient Express. Oh, well. Sue. The rickshaw. Oh, yeah, the rickshaw. Oh, well. Let's continue. World Geography for 200. The answer is... Yokohama is on the bay named for this larger city. What is Tokyo. World Geography for 400. The answer is... It's the ocean bordering Australia to the west. What is the Pacific? Beer. Fosters. No, wait. No, no, no. The Indian Ocean. Beer. Fosters. Australian for beer. Ouch. World Geography 600. In a bottle or a mug? In a bottle. You got it. Ouch. The answer is... In both area and population, it's the second largest country in South America. What is Argentina? World Geography for 800. The answer is... The only country on the American mainland that borders only one other country. What is Canada? World Geography for a thousand. The answer is... The Portuguese found a lot of this of what is now Ghana, hence the name of its coast. What is gold? Alright. Let's have inventions for 600. Daily double. 
How much do I have? I have 36,600. How much of that do I want to put at risk? I'd like to go 13,400. This will put me at an even $50,000 if I answer correctly on this clue. Clarence Birdside's 1920s hunting trip to Canada inspired this method of food preservation. What is freezing? Invention's 800. This fastener gets its name from a brand of galoshes it was used on. What is the zipper? Or no, what is the... Yeah, I will say what is the zipper. Invention's for 1,000. The answer is... Designed over 100 years before airplanes to save people who jump from burning buildings. What are parachutes? Or what is the parachute? Good for another thousand. Ballet for two hundred. The answer is... Swan Lake was originally such a failure that this composer planned to rewrite it, but he died first. Ah. Rob, lock me out. Oh well. Who is Peter Tchaikovsky? Buzzer Booba Foo. Ow! Nice try. Four hundred. <laughs> the answer is... In the 1930s, this company was known as the Saddler's Wells Ballet, but now it's called this. Ah! Rob locked me out again. The Royal Ballet. Uh-huh. 600. The answer is... The Patriotic Ballet Stars and Stripes is dance to his music. And Sue locked me out. John Philip Sousa. Yep. Then again, I have a lot of money sitting in front of me anyway, so... I shouldn't be too worried. 800. The answer is... Okay. In Stravinsky's ballet, this title bird has strange powers and magic feathers. What is the firebird? Not the last clue. Here we go. The answer is... She was already in her 40s when she became Rudolf Nereyev's most famous partner. Rob. It was Dame Margot Fontaine. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, or double Jeopardy, Rob, 2700 Sue, 2200 and me, a whopping $52,600. Got a lot of cash sitting in front of me. And our final Jeopardy category is the U.S. Capitol. All right. For the U.S. Capitol, I'd like to try for... I think I will try for... $400. The only state to contribute a statue of a king for our capital statutory... Capital National Statutory Hall. What is Hawaii? Could have gone more if I wanted to, but I wasn't sure what the clue was going to be. Now we go to Sue. Yeah, overconfidence could cost you. Yeah, definitely. But I'm pretty sure I'm right. I only wagered 400, so. Let's find out. The final Jeopardy answer is. Is it Hawaii? Yep, I got it. So I'm going to go up to $53,000 in just a little bit. But let's see how Rob and Sue did. How did Sue do? Did she get Hawaii? She did. She goes up to 4400 did Rob come up with Hawaii? He did not. He drops to a thousand. And me? I came up with Hawaii. Miserably. $53,000. I have won the game. Ouch. <laughs> See you all for the next segment in just a little bit.